Hello, I'm Naomi. I work as a software developer on Airtime for Source Fabric. And today I'd like to give a quick introduction to the new waveform editor that's available in version 2.4 of Airtime. So here I've got my Airtime library and playlist screen up. And as you can see, there should be the show waveform button if your browser currently supports the web audio API. So you can give that a click. We'll open up this queue editor dialog window. Now to set a queue, you can see the queues that you already have previously set here. This is the queue in and queue out that you already have in your database. And you can modify that by typing it in manually here, which will update the selected area on the waveform. Or you can just click around to get different time values in these form fields, which involves you can drag the mouse, or you can drag and then shift and click to extend your selected area. Now when you feel like you found the area that you want to save, you can just set these and then save them to the database. Now to edit the fade property of two playlist items, you can also see the show waveform button in the fade editor area. And then you should get the two waveforms back to back so you can preview the fades between them. Now to set a fade in or fade out, you can go into fade in mode which will allow you to change the fade in of the track that's starting second. Or you can go to fade out mode and that will allow you to change the fade out of the first track in your queue. Now there's also cross fading that's been added to airtime. To enable overlapping fades, you have to go to preferences under system and set the default crossfade duration. So I'm going to put in about two seconds here just to give an overview of what it will look like in the UI. Now if I go back, the crossfade will be only added to new items in my playlist, so I'm just going to delete these and re-add some items. Now you can see there's about a two second overlap between the tracks here and the timeline. Again, you can set your fade out, fade in, and cursor you can select where you want to start preview from. And then you can just hit play to start your audio preview. So this is just a quick introduction to the waveform editor. Hope it helps you out. Okay.